the San Jose State Spartans. Brent Brennan does a phenomenal job of elevating this program. Last year, they obviously took an, another step in that development. One Mountain West title, and now they're back to defend their title and prove that last year wasn't a fluke. This is a team that was consistently near the bottom of the conference, and Brennan's brought them to the top very quickly, quicker than anybody expected. And with the guys that they have returning, there's no reason why they can't return the conference championship game and even win it once again. At number 10, wide receiver Isaiah Hamilton, 718 yards and four touchdowns in 2019, a weapon that they hope will get back to that form in 2020, 2021, excuse me, after not having as much of an impact in 2020 for, you know, a lot of these teams are dealing with COVID issues, injury issues, that kind of stuff. So kind of a race, take everything from last year with a grain of salt and just give them the benefit of the doubt. Hamilton is a guy who can be a big player for this offense. At number nine, running back Tyler Nevins, 515 yards and five touchdowns last year. Solid running back for the Spartans. It kind of balances out that offense with the passing attack being so good and consistent. It's going to be fun to watch what this offense will be able to do. Defense will probably be the strength of this team, but there's going to be a lot of offensive guys that we'll talk about today that make this team really exciting to watch. Number eight, guard Tyler Stevens. 18 games of experience. Not the only offensive lineman we'll talk about today. And a big reason why the San Jose State offense was able to do what it did last year. Number seven, tight end Derek Deese Jr., son of a former NFLer, honorable mention, Mountain West last year, 240 yards, five touchdowns. Already getting some recognition from scouts and analysts at the next level. A guy who can uh, maybe, maybe make an impact at the NFL, but definitely is going to make an impact this year. With a full season ahead of him, I expect those numbers to go up even more. Number six, safety Trey Jenkins. Second team all Mountain West last year with 40 tackles and two picks. They lose a couple guys in the secondary, so it'll be nice to have a guy like Jenkins back lead on the backside of the defense. Front seven should be just fine with some guys we'll talk about here in a sec, but the backside will be just fine with Jenkins running the show. At number five, offensive tackle Jack Snyder. First team all Mountain West with 44 games of experience. One of the best tackles in the group of five. One of the best tackles in college football as well. Guy who, again, likes he and Stevens bring his experience and talent to an offensive line that made things go for this offense. And they are back for more in 2021. Number four, linebacker Kyle Harmon. First team all Mountain West. 78 tackles, three tackles for loss in a shortened season. Going to seem some bigger numbers for him, and don't expect anything less. At number three, defensive end Villami Fajoko, or Junior Fajoko, as I've seen. Uh, a first team All Mountain West last year, 12 and a half sacks, or t tackles for loss, six sacks. Just one of a duo of defensive ends that make life miserable for the opposing offense. Number two, the other defensive end, Cade Hall. He was defensive player a year for the Mountain West. First team Mountain West, obviously. 12 tackles for a loss, 10 sacks. If you're looking for a guy that's going to make some noise in college football, it's going to be Cade Hall. He and Fajoko, like I said, dynamic duo for the Spartans. A, a group that's going to be very exciting to watch defensively, and they're going to be very tough to tough to beat, and they're the biggest reason why San Jose State elevated so high under Brennan. And number one, quarterback Nick Starkle. Well, he's a second-team Mountain West selection, threw for over 2,100 yards with 17 touchdowns and just seven picks. Not the most talented player on this team. However, he might be the most important after playing for Texas A&M in Arkansas, he finally found a home that worked for him at San Jose State, and he brought them to a conference championship. He is obviously the biggest key for this team, and it's going to be fun to see what he can do now that he's heading into his second year as a starter. As you can see, San Jose State, very talented team, a team that can do a lot of damage in the Mountain West. Can they defend their title? There's a couple teams that are gunning for them, like Nevada and Boise State, but this is a team that sits at the top and definitely can defend their crown with the talent they have back this year.